<laughs> the, this totally caught my eye. It's a Michigan cookie cutter. And I just wonder what the cookies would actually look like once you, once you baked them. You know, it's like one of those things where like, you know, people make the cookies and then it comes out looking like a penis. I just wonder if these would come out looking like some sort of weird hand and like a dog or something. Hi everybody, thank you for joining me on another episode of Rami's Retro. It has been a whole week since I posted a video. It has been a crazy week for me. Um, if you have been following um, in the community tab a few days ago, I posted that my air conditioner went out and it did, it was a mess. Um, it still isn't really working um, perfectly, but it's working. <laughs> so my cats and I had to go to a hotel room. It's been quite an ordeal. So I really haven't had the time or the energy or the anything, uh, desire even to go out shopping. Um, so I decided today that I need to do that. I miss seeing all of you and, um, I miss shopping. So we're going to do this. Um, at 32nd street and Thomas, um, oftentimes it's quite loud in here and oftentimes there are no carts in here. So let's, uh, hope that both of those things are not true this time and that we get a cart and it's not too loud. Okay. Well, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot, um, in figurines, but let's see what we do have. She is so cute. And I actually have picked up one of these before. Um, 349 but they have like no value but I think that they're really really cute she's adorable little bell um, but yeah no value whoops at all whatsoever somebody just broke something at least it wasn't me uh, that's kind of cool I don't know if that's occupied Japan dollar 49 she's a sweet little figurine though oh dear see now I'm gonna break something these shelves are terrible she's not very fantastically painted she looks cross-eyed that's not good um and then she's kind of at a weird uh texture to her and she's very very broken at first i thought she might be plastic when i saw that and that like she had like an arm that moved or something but nope she's just busted and then what about on this shelf resin a little hawaiian girl show me the money bobblehead a pig he's very very chipped little pig pitcher he's cute though that's too bad and then other little dollies we don't need to mess with that there's a little birdie from Cracker Barrel that looks familiar I know what that is very obnoxious little birdie it's a pretty bell I actually have that bell from Avon a little pitcher dish they're glued together glued together interesting clock I kind of like that but it's very 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 damaged so we'll have to leave that behind it's an interesting little vase I kind of like that guy 449 rooster chicken bear in a sweater shaker okay oh she's a cute a cute little girl what is that like a little planter lots of damage though 99 cents um she's been repaired but she's very cute or maybe an egg separator i just noticed she's got an opening right there in her mouth so that's too bad i would totally have grabbed that if it wasn't so damaged the elephants are nice. I don't like that their trunks are down, though. So I'm going to pass on those guys. Well, shucks, y'all. There's really not too much on this aisle today. Milk. 349. It's like a composite resin material. That looks like it's got some age to it. 849 they want for that guy, huh? Butter dish or something. Covered, covered dish porcelain damage on the flowers on that guy lots of damage all right well looks like it's a strikeout in the figurine aisle Ooh, what's this guy hold on maybe i spoke too soon he's hidden underneath all this mess Ugh. oh okay interesting kind of like that i love the owl 449 
Looks like he should be part of a sculpture, like there should he should sit in something, like a piece of marble. I don't see that piece of marble, though. That's too bad, because this is actually really neato. But without that, I think we're going to have to go ahead and leave it. Napkin holder, San Francisco. And I don't see any little random pieces of marble here, so... Oh well, ain't gonna get that guy, I guess. Oh, here's another thing that broke. Boy, it's been a mess in here today, I guess, huh? Oh, it's kind of a pretty ceramic, $8.49. All right, well, let's uh, swing on over to glassware. Okay, well, these caught my eye right away because I already have some of these. $1.49 each on those guys. Not seeing too much else here though. Those have a pretty like a kind of an etching to them. And I like the uh, stem a lot. It's very pretty. $3.49 each on those guys though. My goodness. What do they know that I don't know? Those are pretty too. $3.49 each on those as well. There's quite a few of those purple ones. Some pretty colored glass down there. Here's some more little etched guys, $2.49 each on those. There's only three of them though. Anything over here? I oh, can't read what that says, Ikea, I think. We definitely don't want anything from Ikea. At least not any glassware from Ikea. All right, well. Not seeing anything else here though. Okay, let's check out candle holders and things. Looking for some wonderful glass, hoping for maybe a glassy baby. I know a lot of people say, oh no, you're gonna find those in glassware. Well, you can find them in the candles, I think too. Um, that's where I found, the one I found was more in like the sort of candly sort of candle holder area I guess you could say so I think it's definitely a possibility they're kind of shaped like these guys so you never know but so far not seeing anything that's a really heavy piece but as you can see it's like a flash painted and it's super duper crazy scratched those are kind of heavy too not seeing anything else here a big chunk of glass there okay well guess we're kind of striking out in this aisle too nothing too amazing he's arrived that's cute like a picture frame that's actually really cute 849 huh wow and you put the little pictures right here Oh, it looks like it's broken, though. This whole side is busted. Well, that's too bad. Okie dokie. Well, nothing on this aisle for us. Okay, checking out fancy glass. Oh, that's very sharp. Cut glass. $4.49. That looks kind of pretty back there. Sort of heavy. Don't see any signature on that. Turkey plate, two forty nine. Must be plastic. Yep, it sure is. Big angel cherub. Looks like he should be holding something. It's weird placement of his hands if he's not holding anything. Oh, that's very very heavy. Twelve forty nine. Twelve forty nine on the brass. That's definitely interesting. They've got it taped, the lid, uh, 949. It's a little chip there. It's kind of cool, like a hobbyist piece. Anne Evanson, 1970. Well, Anne, you did a good job. I like your, I like your little jug, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. It's big. It's big and I have lots of big things. I don't need any more big things unless they're absolutely fabulous frames. Okie dokie. Well, nothing here for us. 
go ahead and check out the mugs really quick and see if there's any fun stuff. It's a little Halloween owl. Halloween's coming up. It's got a chip on the handle there though. That's too bad. Any other vintage? Any other Starbucks? Tweety Bird from Six Flags, huh? Well, that's kind of cute. Oh, he's chipped too. It's blue glass. It's no maker's mark on that. Today's home, Better Homes and Gardens, Opal House, always lots of Opal House, lots and lots from Target. There's a Pier 1, J. Okie dokie. Well, doesn't look like there's anything today in the coffee mugs for us. And slide over here a little bit. Um, we didn't hit this particular section of glass. That's definitely pretty. Pitcher, purple and brown. It's hand blown, 849. Again, trying to steer clear of the larger items, unless they're really fantastic. If there were eight glasses to match that picture, then I might consider it, but there are not. So I think we're going to pass. Okay, I'm such a disaster with plates. I really, um, I really get sucked into plates. I have a plate problem. I have a plate and bowl problem and serving platter problem. That's, that's what I have. That's what it is. That's very pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Pottery Barn, Art Nouveau. I really like that. They've only got one, huh? That's pretty enough to hang up on the wall. Hmm. I think we might throw that in the cart. We haven't grabbed anything yet. Um, at least to look it up and see what's the deal. Because I do think that even though there's just one, it's pretty enough that you could hang it up on the wall be a pretty little uh, piece of artwork. I'm not seeing anything else though in plates. That's kind of a good thing. That one's kind of neat. Colonial stoneware. Just one. 349. Okie dokie. Well, we have gotten out of the plates without finding anything too fabulous. I like those. I didn't see any cups to go with that though. Maybe we should double check. Not that we need any cups and saucers. Maybe we shouldn't double check. <laughs> okay, um, jars, kitchen stuff, um, pitchers, sugars, creamers, all that good jazz. Um, what is my friend, um, Thrifting Chicks, uh, Potpourri of kitchen -y, that's what she says. <laughs> she makes me laugh every time she says it. Um, definitely check out her channel if you haven't already. Uh, it's called uh, uh, Thrifting, Two Thrifting Chicks, I think. I just call her Thrifting Chicks, but that's kind of a cute little picture, but I don't know why it's 649. Um, but yeah, go definitely check, go check out her, her uh, channel. She... Uh, She's getting better and better every time she makes a video, and I really enjoy watching her. That's pretty England, Staffordshire. I don't know, should I get this? House of Goble, I think it says. Is there a um, 249, is there a sugar to go with it? Oh my gosh, there is. Um, 249. No breaks or chips or anything, it doesn't look like. Just some grossness. Um, I think I might go ahead and pick that sugar and creamer up. I like those. They're good for summertime, too. Got like a little Coco Pelli on it. Gila River Casino. That's a, one of the casinos that's uh, in town here. Okay. There's another little sugar and creamer. Porcelain stoneware. Made in USA. That one's not as cool. I think we might leave that behind. Here's a little Morton salt. Little salt jar. 
Made in Japan, $3.49 on that guy. Um, I like that, when it rains it pours, Morton Salt. I think we're gonna grab that too. Okay, things are starting to look up. Oh wow, these are really neat. German, hair ceramic. I really like these, $3.49. I don't know what any of these things say, but I really like those. Those three for sure. And this guy's $7.49 for the big one and then his little friend, but he doesn't have a lid. He's $1.49. Hmm. It's $4.49, $3.49, $3.49. Um, I think I'm definitely going to grab these three guys. I have a, f a good feeling about them. And so I guess those will be our wild card. All right. Um, I ran into a viewer, um, Jessica. So hi, Jessica. Thank you for watching. So always good to run into a viewer. It's always wonderful um, to be able to meet someone new and say hi to somebody. So thank you for that. Um, these are really pretty. And I know that they are part of a set. Like they should go around like a Lazy Susan or something. But um, weight of California, two forty nine each. I'm gonna grab those just because they're way too cool to pass up, and you can use them for whatever. You can use them for entertaining. And I also, I've done it before, and then I felt bad about it, leaving pieces of a set behind. So I grabbed those other two pieces. I'm not gonna leave them behind. That's just crazy talk. Every time I do it. Everyone says, why did you do that? And I say, I don't know, why did I do that? So I'm not going to be an idiot this time. I am going to take all of the pieces that match. I wanna see what this is. Barbecue ham steak, $7.49. Ouch, I don't wanna pay $7.49 for that, but it is kind of cool. I like little recipe plates and things like that. Any other good stuff here? Uh, Johnson Brothers, $6.49. That is a very deflated basketball or something. Doesn't go here. I can tell you that. $6.49. Chipped, very badly chipped. Okay, and then we're into like platters and things. It's one of my weaknesses, as I said. Definitely do not need any big platters. Okay, um, I think we are done in the kitcheny stuff. Uh, let's uh, check out wood. See if there's any groovy stuff over in wood. Uh, okay. Well, there's shoes in wood. Shoes do not go in wood. And lots of stuff piled and piled and piled. I'm not seeing anything right off the bat that I am interested in trying to dig for. So we are going to be cautious. <laughs> and I don't think I'm gonna touch anything. Ooh, what's that? Hmm, nope. Not what I thought it was. That looks kind of cool but it's very damaged, unfortunately. Scratched. Plastic. Plastic, 149. Okay, well, shucks. Nothing for us in wood. Never know what might get left behind. I'm checking out the little appliances here, but I don't see anything. I have this slow cooker, 549. Um, I have this same one, only <laughs> mine has a lid. Uh, they work much better with, with a lid. I uh, don't see anything else here. <laughs> the, this totally caught my eye. It's a Michigan cookie cutter. And I just wonder what the cookies would actually look like once you, once you baked them. You know, it's like one of those things where like, you know, people make the cookies and then it comes out looking like a penis. I just wonder if these would come out looking like some sort of weird hand and like a dog or something. 
Always got to take a quick spin through art and see if there's anything fantastic. It's kind of pretty. Looks like a original watercolor, 449. It's got a signature. It's interesting. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Sort of an abstract, I guess. It's pretty. I believe in cross stitch. Well, clearly you did one. There it is. And now here it is at the Goodwill. Don't see too much of anything else though. So I guess we're leaving without any art today. Well, we absolutely missed the vases. How could we do that? Thankfully, I remembered before we left. 549, I kind of like that Art Deco design. It's contemporary though. Still trying to get uh, better with my eye for glass. I do think that eventually though, <laughs> I might have to just resign myself to the fact that I am a pottery person and I am a tchotchke person and I love glass but I'm just not good with glass so it is what it is some people it just jumps right out at them and they see it immediately right away and some people like me I really have to concentrate and search and it, I don't see it right away but conversely some of those glass people probably walk by the pottery aisle and they don't see some really amazing stuff and I see those things so She's pretty and surprisingly, oh, never mind. She is broken. The little dove is busted. I was going to say she's not broken. I can't believe it, but she is. She is. It's pretty little luster wear, 249. Oh, I'm going to break her more too. These horrible shelves. Here's a little um, planter, baby planter. What's this guy? A bear and a butterfly. LBK. 349. It is very cute. I've got quite a few little planters right now, though, so I think I'll go ahead and pass on that. Just as I say that, I see this little cutie. That's Relpo, 349. That I definitely have to get. Cute little elephant with sneakers. He's mine. That's a pretty piece of glass. That it does not seem to be uh, hand blown, although it looks like it. The rest of it does. 349. I think I'm going to leave him behind though, but I am going to get my little planter. And then I think we are going to head out. I think I'm going to get her for me. She's only 349. She's really cute. I don't know why these aren't worth anything, but I keep thinking about her and I feel bad that she's over here by herself and I'm going to take her home. Okay, well, our total spend was a whopping $35. I rounded up, he asked me. Uh, we found some fun stuff. I'm definitely glad that we were able to get out and make a video tonight. Um, as I was leaving, I ran into my friend Matt, so it was nice to see him and say hi real quick. We used to work together years and years ago at Target, so I've known him for a long time. Um, thank you guys for coming with me today. Please check out my eBay store. Um, all of this air conditioner and water heater mumbo jumbo is going to be very very expensive and so any extra money that i can make is definitely appreciated um, thank you guys for joining me as always and um, until next time be safe in your travels and i will see you soon bye